In this video, we're looking at construction 16, which is asking us to construct the circumcenter and the circumcircle of a given triangle using only a compass and a straight edge. If you need help with um, how to construct a perpendicular of a line segment, have a look at construction two before maybe looking at this uh, construction. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to construct the perpendicular bisector of two sides of my triangle. It doesn't matter which two of the three sides you pick. I'm going to basically pick uh, the two sides of my triangle, A to C and B to C. So first thing here I'm going to do is take out my compass and I'm going to sit my compass at the point A. Now I need to set my compass along the line AC, but I do need to make sure that my compass goes ever so slightly beyond halfway. So make sure that it's at least halfway the length of the line segment AC. And I'm then going to construct an arc. So I'm just going to construct an arc uh, on both sides of the line. And then I'm going to come in inside my triangle here. And I'm going to construct my arc. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take the needle of my compass and set it at C just to make sure that you do not change the radius of your compass. So whatever the distance is from the needle to the tip of the pencil you used for A, you must keep it the same throughout the question. If for some reason your compass moves, best thing is to rub out and start again. So what I'm now trying to do is to draw arcs that intersect with these two uh, arcs. So I'm bringing it down to my first arc here and I'm going to bisect that arc. I'm going to cut through that arc and there is my first one and then I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to bisect this arc and I'm going to draw my arc and it just about crosses it. Next thing I'm going to do is construct a bisector of the line AC by drawing a line now between these two arcs. So with my ruler and my pencil. So I'm sliding my ruler up to my arcs and I'm going to connect with my pencil now like that. Okay, so that's my first perpendicular bisector. And again, that's just bisecting the line AC in half. Next thing I want to do is construct the perpendicular bisector of the side CB. Again, you can pick AB if you want. All you have to do is pick two sides. Doesn't matter which two sides. So I'm going to take out my compass again, making sure that the radius remains the same. Okay, so again, don't change your compass radius from the last time. I'm starting here at C and I'm going to draw my arcs. And I'm always holding the compass from the top and that's my first arc. And then I'm going to come into the center of the shape. And I'm going to draw my arc here. So it looks something like that. Again, you can see that it's crossing through the one I previously drew. Again, just follow your own work here. Again, I'm color coding them here. I'm going to move my nib of my compass down to B and I'm going to cross those arcs. So here you can see that it will intersect my first arc and then I'll swing it around and it should intersect my second arc. Which it is just about. Okay, so I'm going to remove my compass and I now need to connect where these two arcs intersect, draw a straight line to where my other two green arcs intersect. So I'm going to use my ruler now and my pencil to do that. So I'm sliding my ruler up to my arcs and line it up and I think I'm about right there and I'm going to connect them then with my green line. Again, it doesn't have to finish at the arcs. And now we have constructed our circumcenter, where those two lines are intersecting, that's known as the circumcenter. So I'm going to put a dot there to denote that. And it is here. Okay, so there's my circumcenter. Next thing I want to do now is construct the circumcircle. And the circumcircle has a center at that blue point, which is the circumcenter. And I'm going to draw a circle which will intersect the three vertices of my triangle. So with your compass, you set the needle to your circumcenter, you set the nib of your pencil to any one of the three corners. I'm gonna set it at A, 
and you should hope then when you swing your compass around that it will intersect or cross through all three corners. Well, let's see. So fingers crossed here, I'm holding my compass from the top, I'm swinging it around and it crosses C anyway, so I'm one of them there and I keep going around and hopefully it'll cross through B, which it does. And I keep swinging my compass around and it should get me back to A, which it does. So I've now constructed the circumcenter and then the circumcircle. And that's our construction. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.